500 grams of strong white bread flour, 7 grams of yeast, 1 sachet, 300 mils of warm water, 40 mils extra virgin olive oil, 8 grams fine sea salt. So, a water and yeast go in, and then you will, as you're about to see, be kind of stirring with your hand. For about two minutes, you should do that. Um, and you'll make a kind of shaggy mess. Um, but you'll see, when you then add the oil, everything will neaten up, the bowl will get cleaner, and you will end up with a more recognizable dough, rather than mess. Pop that in a bowl, cover it, and put it somewhere warm for half an hour to get the proving going, or the fermentation, or whatever. Then it comes out. Now you're imagining there's a top, a bottom, a left, and a right. Wetting your hands each time, pick, pinch, lift six inches towards you, and fold into the middle. Turning the bowl 90 degrees each time until you've done four folds so you've done a top a bottom a left and a right uh, now this time after after this fold you will cover the bowl and put it in the fridge overnight or for 10 to 12 hours so here we now are 10 to 12 hours later uh, Repeat the folding process, cover the bowl. This way, put it somewhere warm, airing cupboard, top of the cupboards. Comes out, you see how much the dough's grown now. Um, repeat your folding, back somewhere warm, this time for one hour. And now we're ready to, <laughs> to bread. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to bake. So, shape your puffy dough into a kind of log you could bake that like that if you if you so choose uh, I'm going to cut it into a few different shapes um, I'll fold one you know into a sort of little a round roll and leave these other ones as kind of slightly wonky shapes just to illustrate the point that really you can bake this in any in any shape you like and cut it up into 10 and make tiny little buns if you like um, so now we're going to line these trays a um, bit of oil underneath will help the paper stick down I always scrunch my greaseproof paper or parchment because I find it makes it kind of sit in the tray better but you don't have to do that if you don't agree <laughs> Preheat your oven to 250 degrees centigrade, or, well, to full temperature, mine goes to 250 degrees C, and bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Take them out of the tray, onto a rack, cool them for half an hour, sandwich. 